Good morning folks and welcome back to Anna's Kitchen. Today we're doing a full-blown choker breakfast, you name it. We have our well, to Shabona's Market, I get Baigan, I get Zaboka, Tomati, and I went on to Border because I went to try and catch fish this morning while this young lady was sleeping, but unfortunately I didn't get them. So we ended up doing some more crab. So Anna, tell them what we're doing here today. So, not to contradict what Mr. Ricky just said, eh? but you know, half fight is really like a, um, a, a fib that he just told there. Okay, so we're going full blown choker here, as he said. <laughs> we are doing tomatoes choker, zabuka or avocado choker, and we have three nice bygone eggplant, balanje, as our Guyanese family would call it. But you know, Mr. Ricky, the fish that you went and catch there, and they well packaged it early when you went this morning. Mr. Ricky has a sweet tooth for something had to go on the side, so I'm going to be frying up this can of mackerel here. No, but interesting fact, then. Mm -hmm. I have, like, my boy, Mr. Dave Ramutar, very close friend of ours. Oh, God, Dave. He Top would, of the morning, Dave. He would come by, and if they see anything like shrimp or kind of meat in these veggies, forget it. He would not eat it. I know. He was the man is a true trinity. He had. But Guyanese had to tell you one thing. We got to get with Bamba in between. So if it's not a piece of meat, some shrimp. Mm -hmm. fish of course right so yes as uh top of the morning to amigo construction he yes. did our beautiful kitchen here for us he did our front of the yard so big up to amigo construction dave and Ann, top of the morning come i'm making some choker nothing going in there boy come over and eat some sara choker cheers to life cheers to life and my this friend this bad boy here i have a lot of folks who this is a very a, a big favorite of theirs Mm -hmm. One true person would be my cousin Rakesh. Rakesh and Holland, yes. Alex in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, that's right. So we're going to finish up this meal and then take some pictures and send to him. And he'll say, hey, you're black so and so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we like to provoke him. So again, I have all of my condiments ready to go. I have some fresh peeled garlic there that I'm going to put into the bagan and rub down the bagan skin with some olive oil. Wrap it up in foil and we're going to take you guys outside with the stove to start roasting the tomatoes as well as the bygan. I have some cherry peppers that I just picked from our yard. I'll give you guys a little um, tour outside with the peppers. They're all coming in really beautiful. Some pimento. I have some onions, some sive, and I like to use red onions. The flavor is really good, like with the chokers and stuff. And of course... We have Mr. Ricky's mackerel are gonna go down there. Am, am I chewing this down or are you gonna cook? You could cook. Danny has Danny say men supposed to be in the kitchen, right? You know by the time I finish with that, everything is gonna be together. <laughs> so you're trying to say you're backing out now? <laughs> and meanwhile, Ricky went, he did go this morning of course, and he picked up a watermelon here. I'm going to make some watermelon juice for the kids. And it's basically just cutting up the watermelon, blending it. I meant to ask you, what's the mint for? The mint is um, a, it's a garnish and it, it gives a nice flavor to the drink. So I also requested him to get me some mint and Thank sherry you. and rock. See, we have I went to go buy mint. I see you have a lot of beautiful mint in your little kitchen garden that you oh. grew there. And um, yeah, the, so the watermelon again, guys, I usually cut up the watermelon. I squeeze a little lime juice into it, blend it. And I have my picture all ready with some ice. The kids are going to enjoy this this morning with breakfast and joining us. I would like to make a shout out to the man Island Life. So now, I came across a video last night and he says he makes the best tomato choker in the world. Really? Yeah. All right, Sunil, come. You're morning come. to you and your lovely wife. Morning boss. to you, Sunil, Island Life and Nisha, Miss Nisha. Good morning to you guys. Shout Wonderful out to people. All the other YouTubers out there. Shout out to Trini Yorker, shout out, yes. Go There's ahead. some folks out in St. Martin going on with a curry duck, duck curry competition. Right, that's Sandy's yeah. backyard. We have Trini cooking um, with Natasha. The whole crew is representing the islands there. It's something spectacular that's been taking place there. So, so let's get busy. Cooking. Again, top of the morning to everyone. And join us soon outside to see how we start prepping and putting everything together. I'm going to stand by you now. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, guys, once again, thank you for joining us. It's a choker morning. A blessed morning. We have Ricky home this morning with us. He usually works on a Sunday, every other Sunday. So it's a blessed Sunday to have him home. You know, after two scorching hot days back to back, 
getting some nice breeze. Morning. Yeah, we got a break in the weather for real. Oh. I got an extra tan yesterday, but um, <laughs> this choker knocking it right out. Alright guys, so we have our bacon roasting here. I have two on and I have the tomatoes roasting over here with some garlic. And we have flour that we need already to make some hot salad roti to last for this. Yes. Very very sticky in the roti. Yeah, but we gotta pull it out and take it to the roti bite. Well, it's not oil roti, so we ain't clapping anything, you know. Yeah. And I don't clap roti, we're turning out some dabla. Well, should, uh, should we tell them that you'll get some lashes dabla something? I don't say that. Nobody can see the marks on my skin <laughs> when you beat me, I guess. <laughs> what I like about Anne's kitchen, not because and because she started roti, there'll be thin both sides. That is something I really truly appreciate because yeah. some places you go, like I watched a video the other day on um, Facebook. Very funny guy. He had these soda in his hand and he's breaking it and it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, but look how big a feet America here. Hey, early morning driving to work. But yeah, you'll you'll be the uh, judge of that when she's finished those roti. You'll see. Thin and nice. And again, guys, you know everybody cooks differently. Um, thank you again for all the support and love from everyone. Uh, we will get our critics. You know, like people would give yeah, their two cents into everything, and that's fine. That's fine. That's a part of like you know the channel and growing with everything. Like I had someone um, recently when I made stew fish. Now they say a true tree you don't put potato aloo in stew fish. So okay, so that's your choice. This is mine. My family likes, you know, the aloo for a little more gravy. Yeah, and that's that, fine. She, she don't put it in there. She had a pack up her move. She's like, I need she do it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> flying party nest this morning. No, and no, 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 Chris, criticism is going to come all the way in all angles. And but that's fine. That's it's, fine. It's the yeah. bill and grow on. I've, I've seen this with my brother Danny. I've seen yes. it with Rocky and his lovely wife. Share. But you know what? For those who enjoy and love what we do as YouTubers, Shout out to you. Shout out to those two lovely ladies this morning. Three lovely at the grocery. They said hi. They said hi to you as well. They're, they're new subscribers. They love the program. Thank you, guys. So, thank you, guys, so thank much. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Let me grab my coffee. No start this morning. It's all too early. We go, um... Oh, we could take something if you want. Uh -uh. No. Cheers, guys. Salute. Cheers to life. Cheers to a blessed Sunday yeah. in New York City, wherever you are looking at us from around the world. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. It is just after 10 here in New York, so it's really brunch we're going to be having. Yeah. The bygans and stuff again, as you guys see, everything is roasting. Tomatoes choker is going on the way, bygan choker. This is a quick switch up where we were supposed to be heading out for breakfast this morning, but we changed, pl changed yeah. the plans. Yeah, we decided to have breakfast home because then we are going also on a little trip to Brooklyn. So I hope yeah. you guys come along with us and join us. What you buy gonna burn girl? It's supposed to burn the king. Okay, bar put it back. Oh this man I tell you. You show the viewers how we read the pepper get red and nice. Now I'm gonna show them soon how the pepper is yeah. So we have all our peppers came in really nice after waiting. So we still have you know some the green ones here but look at this one like this over here. This came in really nice. So I picked some of these also to put in the choker. I can't use too much of pepper because everyone, we have a full house, but everyone home today. Anthony came in this morning from work, and when you hear about your choker, okay, you get happy too bad. And the, these peppers are not that spicy, they're flavorful. No, they're it's flavorful. And then pimentos also, as you guys would see, I chopped up pimento peppers to put also. The pimento Wait. is just flavorful. Wait, don't turn the camera and show them the apple tree. The what? <laughs> Oh god. Oh let's see where it's at a deal with you. The ice apple tree. <laughs> and I also got a little of my um the scallions and stuff, the scythe and things, sorry, not scallions, I use these wood scallions. Scythe, I get some scythe and thing there from a little fur box that I have there. Oh, some of our flowers are still going. The sun, the drastic heat that we had, you know, for a little while burnt the um hydrangeas. Why are those are dying? These are coming to life. The roses? They this were is, they were burnt up. You know what I mean, right? Come. When the love is real. <laughs> hey, how he full of it this morning. I tell you, are you glad to buy the general choker? You know? yes. Alright guys, again, thank you for joining us. I'm going to finish roasting up these uh, these things here. And we're going to take it inside. And dress them all up and ready to make some hot salad roti to lash.
Okay, folks, so I just brought in the bygone. I scooped out all of the flesh that was roasted from on the skin. Garlic, the bygone flesh is here. We have the tomatoes also. I put it in some water and took off all of the charred skin. We have it nicely roasted with some garlic here. I'm gonna mash both of these two and add in some condiments and chunk it with some hot oil. Next, we're gonna do the avocado choker. I have some hot salad roti on its way. And I have to make Ricky's mackerel. Meanwhile, hi Aiden. Hi. Were you sneaking going away? Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. You're hungry by now, right? Yeah, very hungry. All right, I'm gonna make the roti and stuff. We're coming to the uh, <laughs> serving food soon, okay? Okay. All right, baby. Thank you for having some patience with me. No problem. All right, Papa. Okay. All right, guys. Again, I'm gonna mash these two. Uh, <clears throat> these two uh, meals here that I prepared that I'm preparing here and put it together and show you the finish as well as the avocado the avocado choker okay guys it's chunky in time I have some hot oil here I have all the condiments in the tomatoes choker and the bygone choker and let's go in with the oil Charles like little roasted pieces like this. Our body can choke here. Let me mix it and finish up here. I'm gonna plate them. I'm gonna start with the saddle roti and the avocado choker is gonna finish up. Alright guys. Okay. Roti time. Roti time. We have one roll out and we have one, two, three, four, five, six saddle roti for all these chokers. <laughs> So we have a hot towel there, guys. Let's slap on this roti here now. And again. You think that six roti would be enough here? Are you can three of that? I just about to take the thing out of my mouth, man. Yeah, we're keeping about three alone. Let me roti, roti. All right, let's start rolling Roti, up. roti. With bag and choker. There we go. So this is the next thing. I, I, I would like to think that this sada roti here is a wee little bigger than normal sada roti. No, no, no. Trinidadians make our sada roti bigger okay. and we cut it in four in quarts. So if you yes. go like a roti shop, I'll show you, know, because you yeah, go to quart, yeah, tropical jade yeah. most of the time and yeah. you buy a quart. So when these little bubbles start to come up. By the way, that's a brilliant idea. It's, it's uh, easier. It's, I'm, I know like um, a lot of our Guyanese friends, they mm -hmm. make the small salad roti. Nothing is wrong again, but like the quartz, us in Trinidad and our, mm -hmm. my typical Trinidad people would know that we make big salad roti, cut it in quartz. So like Ricky, when you go sometime, when I don't feed him sometime in the morning. Mm -hmm. You have to get a different thing to eat this morning, so you happy. When you go to buy something like a quartz, he's asked for a quartz with salmon and something karate, right? Body, yeah. it's, 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 it's a wonderful idea. And if this roti you can swell up here. <laughs> You know, you don't say it to everybody, you don't talk about my tennis. False, false, false advertisement yeah. here. I hope this roti well vexed with me today so it goes well swell up. Let me see what will take place here. Alright, guys. I got the, um, the bicycle air tire pump out in the beginning. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, keep in touch, let's see. Alright. Alright, safety in time, guys. Let's see. Let's see the magic happening here now. Never been this routine, so up here. Trouble. Going across side all the way in China. <laughs> oh God, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> my cousin is say, sister is making, I ain't calling no name, eh? Before you say she bust my head. My cousin is say, sister is make roti. And when you see time to eat it, it's like, it's not like Gorilla Glue. 
Oh god, this road is like a really big city. What church is happening this one? I'm going to do light full up my head too much. Eh? Flip. Let me go again this time. See here. See that pretty dear? Some butter, piece of cheese. Oh yeah. Watch, watch my roti vex with my vex with my people. Watch, watch, take it off, boy. Some nice hot sada. Rock, Sherry. Oh God. And that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, guys. So now you put that over there. You I'm gonna cut it in a little bit. You want me to, you want me to clap it for you? To the what? <laughs> okay, let me clap a lash on you. All right, let me cut it. Hold on. I'll cut it now, guys. And watch, guys. Very thin. Oh yes. This not is doughy. This is what Ricky was talking about. We do not like our roti very doughy and thick. If you like it a little thicker, by all means. I believe very thin. So one down, five more to go. Yep. Good job. Okay. All right, guys. So we're ready. Well, actually, so we're getting ready. Actually, this is the last of our watermelon drink. So again, it's the watermelon. I cut it up and squeeze some lemon and a lime, and we're gonna pulse. <laughs> eating soon okay folks and here's our spread we are about to start having some brunch so here's a tomato choker bygone choker avocado zavoca choker and we have the fried mackerel here for ricky and whomever want of course we have some hot salad roti here and I made the watermelon drink for the kids. I'm going to add a little garnish now, the mint, which is very refreshing. And join us outside as we start having our little brunch. already. I don't know what's going on there with him. Alright guys, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of the long beach stretch. Here it's all like the residence. You guys can't come and park like they remember. I had come to pick up uh, somebody here, Poppy too. I remember. Yeah, so parking sometimes is a bit rough. We we'll drive around.
but it's always nice action in the summertime here. Yeah, look at this one. Nice. Mm -hmm. Light. Shabba run here, boy. Ricky, like he wants me to drop him off right here. After having a delicious meal, dinner, we are again out at the Long Beach area. Look at the moon. Look at how it's just glistening over the ocean. How beautiful it is. Look at the sky. That's a beautiful full moon. It is. And I know you can't see me, but when I see moon like this, one thing Oh, we comes can see you. We can you see can? you. The light and the moon are so full. We're getting such a good view of you. Know. you see me, I'm, No, I'm seeing you. We're seeing the teeth even brighter now. So moon like this, always brings the best out of me and i will say to you when i see you tonight in the moonlight <laughs> okay guys you only had like five drinks <laughs> i think it's kicking in <laughs> oh my God. it's really beautiful out this here. area is so gorgeous it's a beautiful area so take a, a look inland and see look how nice everything As far as I can see, all the way out, that's the Rockaways, the Atlantic Ocean, and if you see the little flashing lights, that's all the planes coming in to go into JFK. Uh, There's imagine. Lana. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ricky. Just imagine me coming on a jet ski, right, with the moon blazing off the water, and you're staring and glaring at me, you're like, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I see those drinks and the food has really gotten to you. <laughs> Danny would always talk about the Titanic. We got Titanic here. We got a beautiful glare. Oh, so you, you're trying to say you're a jack. You see, even at this time, we have folks who are still walking on the sand. The temperature, the weather is so beautiful this evening. We got a break from the past couple of days. It was so hot. So we have now you know if you look all the way way under that's uh you will see the marara oh god and then on the right hand side yeah oh. and then the, uh, further right nice two mexican <laughs> uh, okay this comedian ricky so guys once again from my family to yours thank you again for all the views for watching and spending this little time with us my family and i and we'll see you guys in the next video Bye.